Hello all, Aaron here, and yes, I am back on the beach. Stepped away from the fields just for a second to come onto the beach. Fields were getting muddy, ruining my shoes. I don't know what I'm just saying. <laughs> Hello all, Aaron here, back on the beach. And, uh... <laughs> Hello all, Aaron here, back out doing a spot of beach detecting and I have the Simplex with me. I put a post on my uh, YouTube channel asking uh, my loyal subscribers. I'm, I'm looking away from the camera again. <laughs> Hello all, Aaron here, back on the beach again. How are you? Hope you're well. <laughs> we need a decent storm, don't we? Something like that. Now, is this the last bit? sake. <laughs> Hello all, Aaron here. I hope you like that little intro there. Um, I put it on my uh, Instagram and, and the Facebook page. Yes, I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook. You can find me on there. Just look for South Coast Detecting. Join the group. Follow me on Instagram. So I thought I'd throw that into this video as well, just to cheer everybody up, just to try and put a smile on your face in these trying times. Now, we're here again. We're doing another Watch With Aaron here in the Cupboard Studio. And the whole idea behind this is the fact that I've now got like 4,700 subscribers. But back in the day when I first kicked off, when I first started out on this metal detecting journey, obviously like everybody else, I had a very small audience, but I put out some really good, in my opinion, some really good videos and I had some really good finds. And this is one of those videos. Now, this video to date, at the point of me making this, has had less than 500 views. And it's unbelievable because it's a really good video. Um, I'm out with uh, Steve of Go and Garrett. Now, those of you that know Go and Garrett will know Steve. And uh, he came down to the South Coast, met up with myself, and we did a little bit of detecting on a place that we call Penny Field. Now, that is a field that was on the permit that we used to get from the council. Unfortunately, that is no longer on the permit. And it's an absolute shame because it was a fantastic field. Absolutely fantastic field. Lots of pre-decimals, lots of World War II stuff, even lots of silvers on there. It was a great, great field. So, let's start off. Uh, let's watch this video. So, this is me, Ellie. My daughter, who used to come detecting with me. I know there's some people watch this going, who? Yeah, Ellie used to come detecting with me. And Steve of Go and Garrett. It's a brilliant video. There is a little bit of wind noise in there because uh, this was before I figured out how to stop that noise with an external microphone. So there's a little bit, but it's still watchable. So watch this. Enjoy it. It is quite fun. Uh, there are some great finds as well. Right, grab your popcorn. Let's uh, sit back and enjoy. And now it's time to head out and find some ring pulls and two peas with South Coast Detecting. Ah, yes, the old intro. The old intro. Featuring Garrett Metal Detectors. Of course, I was well into me Garrett at the time. Great machine. Great machine. There he is, look. And there's John. I still stay in touch with John. He doesn't get out as much. Uh, he works hard. And there's Ellie. Look how small she is. She, she ain't that small now. Oh, dear. Let's dig indeed. Hello, all. Aaron here, out on Pennyfield. It's very windy. And it is. You, you might not be able to hear me very well. But look, we're out with Ellie. There she is. Look at the and size. Also, look! Right, what? Well, it's Steve. Go and Garrett. <laughs> look at his little face. Pop down to the south coast. Popped. Pops. <laughs> it was a 10 hour pop. Huh? I love this video. I absolutely love this video. The, uh, the place we call Pennyfield, and we're just having a little look around and uh, see what we can get. Now, obviously, 
Steve's got his Nell Tornado on, so he's going to be finding a lot of deep stuff. Another reason that I love this video is because when I first started out, Go and Garrett was one of the main videos that I watched. It was Go and Garrett and Felix Stowe Hunter, 180 Felix Stowe Hunter. Those are the two main channels I started watching when I got my Garrett. And to meet up with Steve, for him to come down onto one of the locations where I was detecting, to actually meet up with him and detect with him, it was brilliant. It really was brilliant. I know it sounds weird to say, but I was a little starstruck. It's weird, I know. Very weird, but it was brilliant to meet him, and we had a great day. As you will see. Let's dig. Let's dig indeed. Widowhead Victoria. 1886. Uh, oh, that's sorry, 1896. nice. The quality of that. Lovely coin, that. Well done, Ellie. Always. Whenever I was setting up and doing my intros, nice, like Ellie would always it. wander off and start detecting. And then she'd come over and say, I found something. I should hope so. It's a lovely and coin. Well done. More often than not, it was something <laughs> silver. Ellie's got go. herself a lovely little three pence. Look at that. 1938 and see George VI. And 1938 George VI. Well done. Silver. That's got silver and I got myself a big penny, but as you can see it's smooth as a baby's bum. Look at that. Not a single <laughs> bit of anything on it either side. Look at that. Nice. Smooth. Very smooth. Nothing. By the way, if you want to watch this video without the commentary, that, without me yeah, talking all over the top, I will throw a little link up somewhere if you want to see it. Still got them shoes. That was back when I could afford decent shoes. I'll get mine from Tesco now. <laughs> There's a double dig. Now, if you watch in the bottom corner there, you'll see a, a worm wriggle out of the clod and make a run for it. Watch him, watch the worm. He's wriggling. He's wriggling. Oh, which one's going to win? Oh, there's two of them on the go. Oh, it's a coin. Is it? Hey, top one's won. There he goes. I think it is. All right, let's have a look. What is it? the indentation. All right. There it is. What's the coin? What is it? It's a thrupney bit. Look at that. And you know we like a nice thrupney bit on this channel. Fifty-four. Lovely. Not a bad little coin, that. Right, just had myself a signal here and I've just found something really good. I'm really, really buzzing about this. I've never found yeah. one of these before. Um, I'm really, really excited. It is a George V florin. Look at that, my very first florin. Florin. Can't get a date on that. It's really worn. 50% silver, there I believe. You go. I remember right. Florin, really buzzing with that. Mm. Very excited. Is that the date of the bond there? 1923 or something. Lovely. Lovely little silver Maybe. coin, that. Yeah. yeah. One Florin. Happy with that. In this video at one point, I pull a face to the camera and I right, cringe. Because I have watched this video like back a, a long time ago. I remember watching it and going, ooh, I look like, I look like a weirdo oh, doing that. I won't do that again. Nice, that. Steve over there. Got I'll let you know when it's coming, by the way. I think he's had himself a few bullets and a torch that's still got batteries in it. <laughs> but he, <laughs> I don't think he's had many coins yet, bless him. There he is, there's Fudge Face over there with the camera early lady. Yet, Steve, early days. You know. Bless him. And Ellie, well, she's just over there doing gymnastics. Yeah, she was well into gymnastics at the time, so when she didn't have a detector with her, she was doing cartwheels and everything. And to the next one. Right, just have yourself another roll. This time, it's a yes, a bullet. live bullet. And again, this was on a picnic area place. You know, just a live bullet there, a few inches below surface. Just a complete bullet. It's a good job I pinpointed that one right, or else if I'd have put my spade for it, bloody hell. A bit dangerous, be leaving a line around, isn't it, in a picnic area? Oh. Right, just have myself another hole, and it's a pound. Spendable. Only until October this year. And See, then look at that. It won't be spendable no more. 
It shows how long ago this was. They were still legal tender at the time. Yeah, exactly. So you've got until October to find as many as you can <laughs> and spend them. Wow. Right. Well, do you want it, else? There you go. You can have that. Well done. Right. Very, very windy, but there you go. Silver Sixpence, yeah. 1932. Yeah. Wind was a nightmare That's there. It. Yeah, it's because it was right, it's right on the seafront, so the slightest bit of wind and the phone hated it. Not now, though, obviously. I've got a microphone now that I use when I'm out in the wind. But look at this. Oh, that face is coming up. Get ready for it. This is where I pull that face. I hate it. Triple silver day. There it is. Ellie's having a go of Steve's like a right detector. Fool. Have you pinpointed it, kid? Yeah. There you go. Right, I've She's just had digging a, a heel in. Yeah, tornado. And uh, I got myself on the first hole another sixpence look. <laughs> it is a silver day today. Got myself a lovely <laughs> so that was another thing as well. As you you know, there's me digging up my third <laughs> silver. I don't think at this point Steve had had any silver. And he said, do you want, do you want to go with the Nell Tornado? And I said, yeah, I'll give it a go. And then a little swing, found a target, a nice silver coin. <laughs> nice to Cheers, again. Steve. So uh, God bless you. With uh, Steve's coil. <laughs> Happy with that. But Steve is, you know, yeah, he's, he's got the last laugh because look where he is now, pulling out all these gold rings and everything. Well done, kid. Hole it. Got a uh, got a penny. Can you see it oh, here? Yeah, nice big somewhere? penny. What's on the other side? Let's have a look. Is that, is that Edward Seven? So I used to enjoy going out detecting with Ellie. A lot of the time I had to dig her holes for her because um, she struggled to it, uh, struggled to to dig the holes. But it was nice to have her there. You know, it's nice. There he is. It was nice to have a bit of company when you're out detecting. I'm always on my own now. Just make it out. Here we go, let's just turn it round a bit. A George Fourth. Hang on, kid, I'm filming. Hang on. Nah, no. See, bottom of the just make a screen, you can see that it actually you turned out to be a George up. the Second penny. Looking to the left. And just see at the top Which, there. Which, yeah. Just find my finger. I mean, and look at the quality of that. I mean, it's very, very worn, and there's a, a little bit of a grotty bit on it. But look at the quality of the coin. Nice. Compared to the new stuff to today, the new modern stuff, you know. A, a ballpark figure, but yeah, it's nice, huh? Yeah, lovely right. coin. Steve's just come running over, full of excitement. I wasn't running. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't excited. Something, 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 we're supposed to be honest. I crawled over. <laughs> crawled All a piece over. of dirt in my hand. <laughs> Bless. Right. What, running. what was it coming up as? <laughs> it was coming up as uh, a double dinger. Oh, was it? A double, a proper double dinger. So. Yeah, I know what's in this. I remember what's in this. It's a coin ball. Oh, what's in there? Oh, hello. What is it? I wasn't running. I was even happy now. Not that. Oh, is it a two p? It's one pence. Is it? One pence. One pence. Forty-five. One pence is about today. I'm me. Makeup compact, I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's nice. That. Shame about the mirror. Yeah, I remember he found a compact. It's quite a big signal, a big target. I don't know how I missed it. And it absolutely stunk. It's really smelly. Right, just got another roll here. That's another pound. Yeah, that's a Welsh one this time. Let's got a little Welsh dragon on it. Nice that. Ah, and this is my other daughter. You'll see. She's tiny in this video as well. Look at her. There you go. My other daughter, look, freeloading off me. Hi. Go on, get it's out. bloody massive now. No! Wow, look at that. See, this is what I loved about this field. The condition where there were so many coins scattered about. So many. I mean, and look at that today between myself and Ellie. We had four silvers. Look at that. That's what Steve had in that tiny little area where he is. brass. Absolutely fantastic. And I did. 
memory cards run out on me uh, camera. I can't be bothered to get the other camera out. So, uh, so yeah, I'm happy now. Yeah, it was a, it was a really really good day. Was, it was a really good day. There was silver, Steve. We had four of them. Yeah. Yeah. It was. There was so much stuff. So much stuff. Right, this is the uh, last hole I'm probably going to dig for the evening. So let's have a look at what I got out of my last hole. If it'll and this was a first for me. This was a first for me. I've had, I've had a few since, but yeah, this was my very first farthing that I found. It was a nice little condition farthing as well. Look at that. It's a farthing. Lovely. Lovely little coin. Nice farthing there. George V. Mm. Yeah. That? I'll make that one my last hole. Fun memories of this day. It was a good day out. The, my wife turned up, brought my other daughter, um, and then afterwards, we all nipped off for a hot chocolate and a sit down and a chat. You know, it was it was just a nice day. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Nice they are, aren't they? Nice that. First one of them I've had as well. Looking forward to meeting up with Steve again soon. Well, the, Hopefully. That one that I thought was Roman. Yeah, and Harrison. That turned out to be a farthing, but that was that was well gone. Yeah. Battered, that was. It's covered here. I'm still having pennies and half pennies over a bag full. Yeah? Um, yeah. You had many more Great. out there? Yeah, it's covered. Absolutely covered. Pound coins and pennies thrown in between. But take it all, don't you? you know, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And actually, yeah, after this... After this, the following day, Steve went down onto the beach at Worthing. Uh, didn't have a bad day, actually. He found some good stuff. I think he found an iPhone. Sorry, the one of the things he found. Yeah, unfortunately, we had to come off of that field uh, because the locals were complaining about the holes that were being left. But I know and you know, we don't leave holes. You dig your hole, you find your item, you fill your hole in. You don't take the soil home with you, do you? You always fill in your holes. Uh, either the harvester or... Uh, so, yeah. Um, thanks to the uh, the locals, we weren't allowed to go on there anymore. This was a shame. It's a great location. Ooh, very windy. Here we go then, just a quick round up of some of the good stuff we got off the Yeah, look at that, look at that. Whilst we were out with Steve, I had three Joel silvers. Uh, we Ellie had a lovely little silver. Lovely Florin there. Was that 1923? Some we nice old silver. pennies, some half uh, pennies. Two silver sixpence. Uh, Ellie got herself a nice little silver three pence there. Yeah, she and a lovely a nice Widow Head Victoria. Absolutely lovely coin Widow she Head found Victoria. there. Victoria, look at that. Lovely. Lovely coin, that one. None of these have been cleaned, by the way. Uh, we can see that. I've got a plain one there. I can just make out a young head Victoria on it, but it is very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah, that's uh, right. Got it was. It did turn uh, out to be a Victoria oh, Bunhead. Uh, George V. I uh, got myself a lovely George V. It had v. been well thumbed. There as well. Very small. Nice, that. Like that. Yeah. And this one. George II. Uh, turns out to be George II. This one is a yeah. uh, George II. Uh, half penny. I'll put a picture up so you can see that in the book, side okay. by side. Okay. Should have looked All right. Like. All right. Get on with it. Show us the picture. There it is. Yeah. There's no mistake in that. Definitely George II. Half penny. Yeah. And Lovely. I've got a couple of thrupney bits there, as you can see. Uh, load of normal two hey. peas, one peas. One we love a pair of thrupney bits on this channel. We definitely do. Bullet. World War yeah. Two. So there we go. Some, uh, lovely stuff there, some lovely finds. Remember, there. if you do find any live ammunition, anything like that, you know, make sure you're very careful with it and make sure you hand it into the police. Yeah? Make sure you hand it into the, the police. Uh, just stop that there. 
And there you go. It was a great day out. It was great to see Steve. Like I said, he, he and 180 Felix Doe Hunter were channels that I was watching when I started off with my Garrett. It was brilliant to meet up with Steve and, and take him on this permit. I, unfortunately, he didn't find any silver. Never mind. But he did have a great day out, and it, it, was, it was good. Really enjoyed myself, and I think Steve enjoyed himself as well. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this back with me and listening to some of the uh, pearls of wisdom, the little insights that go with it. Yeah. Um, but it was, uh, it was a good day. Now, remember, you're not going to get out. I know this. So I can't say good luck and happy hunting and all that. But there are plenty of videos to watch here on YouTube. Not just my channel. There are plenty of other channels out there as well. You know, if you want to watch some um, field detecting, people digging up Roman coins, hammered coins, things like that, check out... Uh, UK metal detecting Stephen Pettican rolls off the tongue rolls off the tongue check him out also check out things like Dirk Diggers UK as well um there are plenty oh and also go and Garrett check out some of their videos he's uh, scuba detecting at the moment with the uh, pulse dive and pulling up some fantastic hammered coins on the beach out where he is abroad check them out some great videos. Now, will I do another one of these? I don't know. If we're locked up for three weeks, chances are, yes, I will. <laughs> so look out for that. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you want to watch any other videos that I've done, I'll throw a, a little link or something to the metal detecting playlist if you want to check that out. And also, I'll throw up a little subscribe button here as well for you. I'll see you again next time. Thanks for dropping by. Ta-ra.